What's up, toy people? Bob Mastrella here from Uncle Bob's Vintage Toys. Hey, check it out. I did a quick repair on some Six Million Dollar Man Bigfoot figures here, and I just wanted to share with you how I did it, so uh, let's get to it. All right, guys, so here's our Bigfoot with his arms loose, and I have a pair of hemostats, which it's, you could probably do it with needle nose pliers, but hemostats makes it easier because you can lock them down on a cord and it doesn't fall back through into the creature. Um, I have the shock cord here. I'm not sure what size it is. I believe I bought it on Amazon. I just looked up shock cord. Okay, it's probably like four millimeter or something. It's not very big. All right, uh, it's great stuff. It's super tight. I use it to fix all kinds of figures. I've used it on Chewbacca, the old Kenner Chewbacca, Kenner Darth Vader, <clears throat> things like that. So that's all you need right there. Take about, I don't know, five, maybe six inches is all it'll take because you're not going to need a lot you just need enough to feed it through so these are these like little twist lock wire ties I don't know if you can see that there what it looks like okay and you just twist them and for this guy I'm going to need two of them because the holes are a little on the big side so you just twist them together tuck them in the hole get the other set down in the hole there on you, get in there. All right, I got a pair of them. And I, one, it'll pop right out if you use one. They're just a little too small. This set, maybe you can get them where the ball's a little bigger. I don't know. But this guy's a little wallered out anyway, so that holds it nice and tight. All right. Same thing on the other side. Just pop them in. So you got the one popped in. Get the other one in there nice and snug. Alright. Simple enough. Thread the loop. And this is where I like these things because it makes it so much easier. I just lock one end down so I don't lose it. Take the other end, feed them straight through the body there. Alright. Through both holes. A nice good tight fit there and then sometimes you can just feed it right through like that and grab it sometimes you'll have to feed it through and grab it with your needle nose or your hemostats I love the hemostats because you can lock them down you can get these anywhere used really cheap I think I, I got them at auction for like next to nothing all right I got my other side here Fingers ain't skinny enough. <clears throat> Get a hold of that. Alright. I got my two tabs. I just tie it off. So now here you want to pull it good and tight. Be careful you don't pop those wire ties out. So there it is. Double knot. One more time for good measure. Snug. Get your scissors. Just cut them off. Leave you know, leave enough where it's not going to untie. You should be good to go. That's it. There he is. Nice tight hands. Okay. Right. All right, guys. So here's the final results. You see his arms are pretty good. Nice and snug, and you can even hold this thing up. So I mean, if he's good to go, he ought to last a long time now. And I'll leave you guys uh, some links in the description. So uh, please like and subscribe. Later.